October 10th, the joy of my salvation. Isaiah chapter 12, verses 2 to 3. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yah, the Lord, is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Someone once asked Hayden, the famous church musician, why his music was so cheerful. He replied, I cannot make it otherwise. When I think upon God, my heart is so full of joy that the notes dance and leap from my pen. Isaiah felt the same way. As he thought about the Lord, he revealed in the realization that God was totally trustworthy. He need never be afraid. No one could harm him when he was under the care of an omnipotent God. Furthermore, it was more this same God that he could draw his strength, not just physical strength, but the strength to face the trials and tribulations of life. Yet, the crowning touch came as he considered that God was also the well of his salvation. Just as someone could draw life-saving water from a well in the ground, so Isaiah rejoiced that he could draw from the Lord the spiritual water he needed for his eternal life. Such thoughts are the secret to a constant attitude of joy. But don't take your joy for granted. After David's sin with Bathsheba, God used the prophet Nathan to bring him to repentance. In the midst of his sorrow over his sin, David cried out, Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Psalm 51 verse 12 When David lost his fellowship with God, he did not lose his salvation, but he did lose his joy. And without the joy, our salvation is lacking an important ingredient. Is your salvation a source of joy in your life? Do you delight in your relationship with God? If not, confess any sin that might be blocking that joy and then let your heart be filled with the joy that only God can give. If there is no joy in your salvation, check what's in the well of your religion. Amen.